Hi, Peter Robertson here from William Porches Properties. Just tuning in to give you a bit of a recap of 2017 as we go into Christmas 17 to 18. So, a quick uh, a look back at the year that was. It's it's been an interesting year. It's been a bit of a roller coaster ride. It's had its highs. It's had its lows. Uh, we've had our hits. We've had our misses. Uh, the year started very positively, very buoyantly. We had a great summer last year. Um, the state election came along poured a little bit of cold water onto the marketplace with a bit of news post-election that the, the, the state coffers were not as full as, as people would have liked. And that probably brought our mid-year, end of financial year, uh, winter lull a little bit early. And to be fair, it probably extended a little bit longer than it normally does. So we always see that seasonal stop in the middle of the year, um, in part driven by the weather, in part driven by finances and, and, uh, and everything that flows on from that. So, busy start, quiet middle, and then spring didn't really take off until probably four weeks later than normal this year. But when it did take off, it certainly started and, and ran very positively. So the last couple of months have been great. Uh, we've had a fantastic run into summer. So um, the marketplace generally responded to the, the news that started to come and filter through that there were green shoots in our resource sectors, uh, that uh, the, the state's future was looking positive and bright in Perth. I mean, it's a fantastic time to be in Perth, a very exciting time. I think Perth has got a very bright future, uh, looking at sort of the five to 10 year time frame. Um, and we're probably coming out of possibly the toughest 10 years that the market's seen in the last 40. So that's sort of where we sit market-wise. For ourselves, it's been an interesting year. We've had some fantastic runs. We've had some, some losses, some things that we've missed. So I just want to touch on that briefly. Um, we love celebrating our, our wins when we hit when we hit it out of the park and go and connect. Um, we celebrate with our clients um, those wins, but of course, it's the real world. It's the real life. We're in the western suburbs. It's a very competitive market. We've got some great competitors that we that we uh, square off against on a regular basis, and we fully respect that. So we also miss, and we also don't. It doesn't always go our way. Um, there's an old saying that we like to apply, which is you know, everybody falls down as long as we fall forwards and we don't fall backwards. So that's a philosophy that we try and put into play into play um, all the time. Uh, when we do have our losses or we do have our misses, we try and analyse that and look at what happened and why it didn't go the way we planned or, or our way as far as winning business and we try and hone our skills and refine what we do as agents and how we connect and interface with both the buyers and the sellers in the marketplace. Um, and, and for us, it's been, it's been a very good year of, uh, of successes and lessons. So that's what I would say 2017 has had its lessons uh, and it's also had its wins. Looking forwards now into the summer, we've got a, a lot of interesting things uh, and properties launching. In fact, there's a photographer out this morning doing some, some work for us, getting a property ready for launching in the new year. The market is, I would describe it as tentatively firming. So it's, there's positivity in, in so much as people's attitudes and mindsets and, and how they feel about how the market's going forwards. There's positivity in prices. We're seeing multiple offers. Uh, we've had a great run just recently sell, selling a few more houses and we've got a few more deals still in play. Um, there has been probably the spring of, or spring of 2017 to 18 would be epitomized by the uh, lack of supply. So buyers are coming in now wanting to engage, wanting to find the right property. Their needs have changed. They, they want to move here a lot of the time for the schools, etc. cetera. Um, and they're, they're grumbling a little bit about lack of supply. So I think what we're going to see going into 2018 is some of our sellers or the sellers waiting to become sellers in the marketplace, read some positive news in the press um, and decide that you know, it, it's a safe, time to come and bring their properties to the market. So we're seeing, a, seeing that sort of activity in the last couple of months and I think that's going to grow as we go into 2018. So coming back to, uh, to this week, it's the 21st of December, Christmas is next year, next year, next week, uh, it's just around the corner. And we wanted to thank everybody, all of our clients uh, and customers this year who have given us their business, worked with us, had those successes. Um, Thank the clients also that invited us into their houses for appraisals, uh, but perhaps didn't give us their business. Said Pete, thank you, but you know we're going with X, Y, Z for these reasons. Um, that's also very good. Again, that's falling forwards for us. We learn, we we find out what we could have done differently, how we could have um, handled perhaps that situation differently. So that's always um, a lesson to be found there for us. So we continuously improve. 
So thank you to everyone who invited us into their houses. Thank you very much to those that gave us their business and also thank you for those that didn't uh, for the lessons that you've given us along the way. Looking forwards, we wish everybody a, a safe, enjoyable, fun, uh, joyous Christmas and New Year. It's a fabulous time of the year. If you're getting away or taking some time out with your friends or family, we hope you enjoy that and make the most of it. If you're doing that by yourself, fantastic too. Some quiet downtime is, uh, is very recharging. Perhaps come to a beautiful park like this. Uh, we're blessed in Perth. We've got beautiful beaches, beautiful parks, a beautiful river. Um, so it's a, it's a great environment in which to, um, to enjoy the Christmas and New Year festivities. So thank you very much for 2017. We look forward very much to 2018, being part of that journey with you, continuing our growth and uh, continuing to strive to bring you the best possible real estate service. And uh, thank you all very much. Have a great break. Bye for now.